video. And, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, we're doing a mod review. Kill me! Uh, and this is Dr. Trampers. So, uh, today we're actually going to be re reviewing the Battle Gear 2 mod. And I love this mod. I mean, it has some real pot potential. And, I mean, it already has potential. I mean, it already is potential. Uh, and I like... Oh, snap. Uh, to add it to our mod review. I mean, not mod. Holy smoke, this mod. Look at this. That's amazing. It spawns. Oh, jeez, that is awesome. That is awesome. It spawns them with, like, a quiver and everything. Okay, 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 okay. I'm a noob. Okay. But I think I'd like to add this to our mod pack. And, uh... So let's, let's just go right in, and I filmed this about three times, and I failed. Let's just go right into this. So first thing is the quiver, and I don't really understand how the quiver works. If you guys know how it works, please comment in the description. But you're going to need a U-shape of leather, and we're actually going to try that out. Next thing is chain, which I don't know what it does, but you craft it like that. The next thing is also a wood spear. And you just craft it like that. I mean, it's very simple. But we're going to need this for crafting recipes coming up. So let's continue on. These are all the daggers, the war axes, the maces, and the spears. So you can craft it in every single item. In, I mean, yeah. In every single item. And it's really neat. Like, it, yeah. You can craft it in wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond. So we're going to go over how to craft these. So the dagger is really easy. You just put a stick and then any materials. So wood, iron, gold, or diamonds. So yeah. So all these crafting recipes you can use anything with. And we're, we're just going to put these in our inventory for later. The next thing is the diamond, I mean, yeah, the war axe. And anything, again, here, iron, wood, gold, diamonds. And then two sticks. So we're also going to use that. Next thing is the mace. And again, that's one stick and then four of any wood, iron, gold, or diamonds. This is where you need the wood spear. This is the diamond spear. But you can use anything there. You know, wood, diamonds, stuff like that. You put that and then diamond. We're also going to try those things out. Now, first thing we want to go over is, see these three bars? Let me see if, no, wait. See these three bars over here on each side? Those are actually my extra hands. See, if you press R, you will get an extra hand on the right, left-hand side. And you see how I'm scrolling back and forth with that? That will actually change your inventory, so you can hold two things at one time. Now, how do you hold these two things at one time? First, press E, and then press BG. That's the only way I could figure it out, and we'll go over that later. Okay, so now, let's switch back over, and we're going to go over to the shields. Yes, shields. Now, the wood shield is just basically a cross with any wood you would like. And then, there's the hide shield. Oh, first of all, this blocks for one second. So we'll block any, like, attack for one second. This will block for 1.5, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, and I think 5 is the top. So, you just craft any wood planks in the middle and then 4 hides on each side. Then there's the iron, and you make a V with iron, and then put any wood plank there. So we're going to use that out too. Then there's the gold. Make the V with the gold and any wood plank there. And then we have the diamond. And it's the V with the diamonds and any wood plank in the middle. So now we're going to move on to the arrows. Yeah, this is getting really weird. There's a lot of stuff to go over. And I get kind of confused with when there's a whole bunch of stuff to go over. There's also explosive arrows, which you craft with gunpowder on top of a stick. There is flaming arrows, which a flint on top of a stick and these you all use with a standard bow so then there's a mystery arrow which is a cookie on top of a stick 
I bet it shoots cookies. I'm not sure. I haven't used any of the stuff yet. Uh, then there's the leech arrow, which you go a gas tear on top of a stick. A piercing arrow, which I'm guessing pierces to the ground, which is diamond on top of a stick. Last, well, not actually not yet. Poison arrow, and that is another star on top of a stick. One more, guys. Last but not least, the ender arrow, which I'm guessing teleports you. I have ender on top of a stick. Yay! So that is it. Now we're going to go over how you actually can use these in your hands. So press BG and you'll get this. Now a shield can only go on this side, but any dagger, sword stuff can go on both sides. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of just layer this and dagger, I guess dagger can only go on this side. Diamond? Uh, and weakest. So let me show you how this works, first of all. The first thing is, when you press R, you're going to get a hover. And you see this bar? See that bar? Okay, that is how long. Now, if you, I think, I believe it is left click. See how your bar starts going down. Now, if someone is attacking you, it will hold. Now, it will start regaining your health. Now, this one... Huh, okay. This one, see how fast that one goes? So let's switch back to our other inventory. Whoops. Change to peaceful. Add a bunch of mobs. R. Oh, oh, see that? See that? See that? It blocks the hit. Mmm. Oh, oh no. No. Okay, now let's, uh,. Let's change. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! Okay, so now we're going to try that with the other sword. Okay. Uh, oh, geez, that was quick. That was quick. That was quick. That was quick. And the dagger. Oh, 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 yeah. Whew, okay guys, well that, that, that was kind of uh, awkward, but yeah, so, so, okay guys, so we ready to start, let's spawn a couple, wait, I gotta change this today, T slash time, set, night, okay, so let's go in with the diamond dagger, oh snap, turn that thing off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, oh, 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 snap. Okay, okay. We're dead. We are dead. So, oh, R. We're gonna go in. <gasps> no! Dr. Trampers! He must have died. Okay, so the dagger is alright. I mean, it looks like it's giving a 3 to 5 ratio hit. 3 to 6 ratio hit, actually. So it's doing pretty good. So now we're going to try the piercing. Why the piercing arrow? The diamond sphere. So that's actually doing pretty well. Die. Let's get some more things out here. Okay, so we're trying the diamond war axe. Now I really like this in Tekkit. I think we actually have a couple in Tekkit. We don't have diamond. And this is a one to six ratio, it looks like. So, hey, hey, that's not nice. That's not nice, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really like those potions. So, okay, let's spawn some more in. We're gonna go with four. Yeah, we've done all of them, haven't we? Yeah, we've done all of them. So, you know what? Let's actually go and try the arrows now. I'm kind of like, all like. Okay. So, we have a bunch of different arrows, and I don't know how this is going to work, really. I don't know if it uses the one in your inventory. Oh, oh, you know what? I got it. You know, I 
bet. Hey. I think we're going to end this episode here, but I really like this mod. Guys, comment if you would like this to be added to our mod pack. And we have not started doing the mod pack yet, but next I'm hoping to do the flashlight mod. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have download links and stuff like that for Battle Gear 2 in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and until next time.